on YouTube and Facebook. Book of Am Tuad, the Book of Gates, Chapter 4, the Gate of Aquabi, the Third Division of the Tuad. The boat of the sun has passed through the second division of the Tuad, arrives at the gateway which leads to the third division. This gateway is unlike the first, which has already been described or its opening is protected by an outwork similar to that which protects the door of a fortified building. The outwork is guarded by nine gods in the form of mummies who are described as the second company of the gods. And in this form <clears throat> of mummies who are described as the second company of God. And in this wall, which completely divides the second division from the third, is an opening which leads to a corridor that runs between two walls, the tops of which are protected by rows of pointed stakes. At the entrance of the corridor stands a god in a mummied form called Am. Aua, and at the exit is a similar god called Sekhabesnafenene, which is said to extend his arms and hands to Ra. At each side of the angle near the entrance of the corridor is a serpent who ejects flames from his mouth. The flames from the one sweeps along the corridor at the end of which it is met by the flame from the other serpent which sweeps along the inside of the inner wall. The flames of these serpents are said to be for Ra. The gateway leading to the third division is called Septet Aau and the door thereof, which opens inward, is guarded by the serpent standing on his tail, who is called Aquibi, and faces outward. The text referring to the entrance of Ra through this gateway read, When this god cometh to this gateway to enter through this gateway, the gods who are therein acclaim this great god, saying, Let this gateway be unfolded to Kuti, and let the door be opened to him that is in heaven. Come then, O thou traveler who dost journey in Amentet. He who is over this door openeth it to Ra Sa saith unto Aquibi, Open thy gate to Ra, unfold thy door to Kuti. He shall illumine the darkness, and he shall force a way for the light in the habitation which is hidden. This door is closed after the great God hath entered through it, and there is a lamentation to those who are in their gateway when they hear this door close upon them. Along the middle of the third division we see the boat of the sun being drawn along by four gods as before. The god Ra stands in a shrine similar to that already described and his companions are Sa and Hakau. The rope 
by which the boat is towed along is fastened to the two ends of a very remarkable object. In the form of a long beam, each end of which terminates in a bull's head. The accompanying text describes it as his boat in form the fact that the four gods who tow the boat are seen again at the other end of the beam-like object with the towing rope in their hands. It is clear that the boat of Ra and the god himself were believed to pass through it from one end to the other. The object is supported on the shoulder of eight gods in mummy form who are called bearers of the gods. At each end immediately behind the bull head stands a bull and at intervals seven gods who are called the gods who were within are seated upon it. At the end of the division stands four mummied forms with their elbows projected and their hands crossed on their breasts. The text which refers to the passage for the boat of the sun reads, <clears throat> The great god is towed along by the gods of the Tuat, and this great god advanceth to the boat of the earth, which is the bark of the gods. Ra saith unto them, Hail, ye gods, who bear up your boat of the earth, and who lift the bark of the Tuat. May thee be supported to your forms, and light unto, unto your bark. Holy is he who is in the boat of the earth. I make to go back the bark of the Tua, which beareth my forms or attributes, and verily I travel unto the hidden habitation to perform the plans which are carried out therein. Enerkata, Enerkata saith, Praise be the soul which the double bull hath swallowed, and let the god be at peace with that which he hath created. The effect of the above words is to allow the sun god and his boat to pass through the double bull-headed boat of the earth without any let or hindrance, and when he has done this. These gods, i.e. the four gods at the other end of the boat of the earth, say to Ra, Praised be Ra, whose soul hath been absorbed by the earth god. Praised be the god of Ra, who has rested therein. This boat of its Chuad rejoiceth, and there are cries from them after Ra has passed them as he journeyeth on his way. Their offerings are the plants of the year, and their offerings are given to them when they he hear the words of those who draw along the great God, the God of the Tuat, who draw the holy boat in the earth say unto Utau, who arms, whose arms are hidden, O ye Utau of the earth, whose duty it is to stand near his habitation, whose heads are uncovered and whose arms are hidden, may there be air to your nostrils, O Utau. And may your funeral swathings be burst open, and may you have the mastery over your meats, and may you have peace or crest in that which I have created. Their food is of bread cakes, and their bread is made of red 
of the red grain, the droughts which they drink are of cool water, and their meat is given unto them because of the whiteness or brilliance of their apparel in the Tuwa. On the right hand side of the division of the Tuwa, the boat of the sun passes twelve shrines, each of which has its doors thrown wide open, and so permits us to see a god in mummy, mum, mummied form standing inside of the standing inside it these gods are described as the holy gods who are in the Tuat. Along the front of the twelve shrines stretches an enormous ser serpent, the duty of which is to protect those who stand in them. Beyond the shrines is a long basin or lake of boiling water with rounded ends, in which stand up to their waist twelve mummied gods with black heads, who either have white bodies or are arrayed in white apparel. In front of each god grows a large ear of wheat. These gods are described as the gods in the boiling lake. The text which relates to both groups of beings are as follows. Those who are in their shrines are the members of the god whose shrines the serpent Seti guardeth. Ra say unto them, Open ye the doors of your shrines, so that my radiance may penetrate the darkness in which ye are. I found you weeping and lament lamenting with your shrines tightly closed, but air shall be given to your nostrils. And I have decreased that ye I have de decreed that ye shall have an abundance of overflowing in all things. And these gods say unto Ra, Hell Ra, come thou into our lake, O thou great God who never fellest. The Shinu gods who are before and behind him pay homage to him, and they rejoice in Ra when he traverses their region, and when the great god journeyeth through the secret place. Their food consists of loaves of bread, their drink is made from the red barley, and their cool, their cool water come from their cisterns of water, and the serpent of fire, Seti, giveth unto them the things whereon they live there. The door which shutteth them and closeth after this God hath passed, passed through their midst, and they utter cries of grief when they hear their doors shut upon them. The following refers to the lake of water in the division. Here is the lake of water which is in the Tuat, and it is surrounded by the gods who are arrayed in their apparel and who have their heads uncovered. This lake is filled with green herbs. The water of this lake is boiling the birds betake themselves to flight when they see the waters thereof, and when they smell the foetid smell which is in it. Unto these gods say Ra, O ye gods who do, whose duty is it is to guard the green herbs of your lake, whose heads core uncover uncovered, and whose limbs are covered with garments, may there be air to your nostrils, and may offerings be made to you of the green herbs, and may your meat be from your lake. 
the water therein thereof shall be yours but to you it shall not be boiling and the heat thereof shall not be upon your bodies these gods say unto Ra come thou unto us O thou who sellest in thy boat whose eye is a blazing fire which consumeth and hath a pupil which sendeth forth light the being of the two shall shout with joy when they approach when thou approaches send forth thy light unto us, O thou great God, who has fire in thy eye. Their food consists of loaves of bread and green herbs, and their drink or beer is of the Kemtet plants, and their cool water is from their cisterns of water, and the food shall be given unto them in abundance from this lake. On the left of the path along which the boat of Ra passes in the division of the two uh, are two groups of beings. In the first of these we see the god Tim in the form of an aged man with bent shoulders leaning upon a staff coiled up before him in voluminous folds with its head flat upon the ground is the monster serpent Apep. Behind Apep stand nine men with their arms hanging by their sides. These are called the Chachacha, who repulse Apepi. In the second group is Tim in a similar attitude and before he stands nine gods each holding the symbol of life in the right hand and the scepter in the left the nine gods are called nebu kurt i.e lords of destinies the texts which refer to these groups read the first the first group show us what Tim hath done for Ra and how he hath protected the god by words of magical power and hath overthrown the serpent Seba Tamu saith thou art prostate and thou shalt nevermore rise thou art enchanted by my enchantments and thou shalt nevermore be found. The word of my father is ma'at against thee, and my word is ma'at against thee. I have destroyed thee for Ra, and I have made an end of thy for Kuti. The company of the gods of Ra, who repulse Apep, say, Thy head is slit, O Apep, thy folds are gashed. Thou shalt never more envelop the boat of Ra, and thou shalt never again make a way into the divine bark. A flame of fire goeth out against thee from the hidden place, and we have condemned thee to thy dire doom. They, i.e., the nine gods of the company of Ra, live upon the food of Ra and upon the cakes of Kent Amenti. For offerings are made on their behalf upon the earth, and the libations of cool water are made unto them by the Lord of food, or as lords of food before Ra. To the second group of the nine gods, Tim saith, Inasmuch as ye are the gods who possess the life and scepter, i.e. authority, and who have masterly over your scepters drive yet ye back the serpent Seba from Kuti, gash ye with knives 
the foul and evil serpent af these are the gods who work enchantments on a pep who open the earth to Ra and who shut it again a pep in the gates of Kenti Aminti they are those who are in the hidden place and they praise Ra and they destroy his enemies and they protect the great one against the serpent Apu, Apu. And they utter cries of joy at the overthrow by Ra of the enemy of Ra. They live upon the meat of Ra and on the cakes offered to Kenti Aminti. Offerings are made on their behalf upon the earth, and they receive libations through their word being Ma'at in Amint, and holy are they in an arm in their hidden place. They utter cries to Ra, and they make lamentations for the great God after he hath passed by them. For when he hath departed, they are enveloped in darkness, and their circle is closed upon them.